All right, it's been a little bit since any sort of big update because this has been taking quite a long time and we've run into some issues we had to solve, but our water system is finally all hooked up, mostly. Um, let me take you through it. I guess we'll start back here at the water tank. Um, we did get the bed all framed in and the 100 gallon fresh water tank is in its permanent spot. Um, one thing you'll probably notice on this is we don't exactly have a gravity fill. Um, and the reason for that is our tank sets higher than where we wanted to put our city and gravity fill box. So we had to do something a little different. Um, it requires the use of some different valves, um, four of them to be exact, but it's a pretty cool setup. So let me let me just kind of go through here and and show you what we're we're talking about. Um, so let, let's start over here at the the actual water fill. So as you can see, we have our our air vent and then our city pressure, and that's it. So this, this is just useless. Um, so we're gonna be using the city pressure inlet to both fill our tank and to run city pressure in the system when we're not using the water pump. And how we do that is with some of these different valves. So if we are wanting to fill our tank, we hook up city water, make sure that this valve is turned off so that way city water doesn't go through the system while we're filling. I mean, I guess it could, but there's, there's really no point. So we make sure that that valve is off so we're not pressurizing the rest of the system and make sure that this valve is on. So it then allows water to flow from here, up to here, through here, and all the way back to here where it'll start filling our tank. Um, once filling is done, we just turn that valve off over here. And I guess that air hose might be a little bit in the way, but oh well. Um, so we turn that valve off, and if we still have the bottom city pressure valve turned off, we're pretty much set up to just run from our pump. Um, and so we pull from the water tank down here get a little closer so you can kind of see and we also have a couple valves down here so probably wondering what this is here um, that is going to be our drain if we ever need to drain our tank so pump is gonna pull water from here it's gonna go through and as long as this close is closed it's not gonna go out the drain um, I'm gonna run a piece of PEX all the way to the back door back over there um, and then this is our main shutoff for the, the tank itself. So as long as that's open, then it runs all the way along the bottom, comes up into that hose, into the pump, and then into the accumulator tank, out of the accumulator tank through a check valve, and then into the water system. Um, and then it can't go back through this way because that valve's going to be closed. Um, I thought about putting a check valve, but the that suffices so from here it's pretty much just you know simple it just tees off goes into the water heater and then goes to the cold for the rest of the the bus um i would have probably tried to do something a little different here to use less fittings but i had to make these turns to go against the wall as much as i could because we got this big washing machine that needs to go right in this area so we got the hot and cold that runs over here. We got our washing machine hookups. Goes through the wall, kind of up over because the wheel well's right there. And then into the bathroom where we have the stub outs for our bathroom sink, which is gonna set here, which that is down here at the moment. That's gonna hang on the wall and I'm probably just going to have to drill a couple holes in the side of the vanity to get the hot and the cold through, but that's fine. Um, then they continue along. Um, that is an interesting story. 
I kind of had to fix a nicked electrical wire, which sucked. But it's all done now. Um, so it goes back through here. I'm probably going to box this in a little more to conceal it all because the toilet's going to be sitting here and then our vanity is going to be over here. Really, all you would see is just this section, but we'll, we'll make it nice when we actually like finish this. Um, but it goes through that stud and then into the wall section for the shower. We've got our shower head, our mixing valve, and... Then it continues on to the kitchen out that way. And then that's gonna be the last stop for the PEX lines. And at this end, um, I gotta go get another coupler because I, I'm gonna bring this over farther past this outlet. Um, cabinets are gonna be sitting here. So where the, the water comes out, there's gonna be a wall or a cabinet separating that outlet from it. Um, but pretty much right here is where we're going to have the valves for the hot and cold water for the sink, the pot filler, which is up in the front of the bus, um, and the dishwasher. And that is pretty much it. And that's also where I had to get in the wall because I had to pull back this electrical line from here all the way over to there because I was an idiot and drilled through the line so but it's all fixed and the pex is pretty much done so now it's just pressure test and eventually hook up a hose and test that we can fill the tank and everything works as expected and that there's no leaks all right that's it for today's update